initially after I left Perth, I basically lived like a gypsy for a while. They were still paying me, obviously. So I went to Newcastle, I went to Bondi, worked in my friend's cafe, porch and parlour for free, for food only. And eventually around Christmas time, I don't know, I actually hit the wall. I, I burnt out in a massive way and it wasn't due to that period of my life. The reason for it happening was the 16 years of being on the road and kind of being ungrounded, um, changing cities and countries every other year and contracts and never really processing what I was going through, the highs and lows of a, being a professional athlete. When I hit the wall, I spent two years at home basically. Uh, none of my best friends saw me, got a response from me. Uh, my phone might as well have been thrown out because I wasn't replying to anyone. I didn't want to see anyone. Definitely soul searching. It happened four or five times during my career in a major way. And regardless of whether they'll be injuries or uh, disappointments, you know, not being selected for certain teams or not being given the contracts that you were expected to be given or seeing promises that weren't honoured. And the isolation and the injuries that I suffered during those moments definitely brought on the depression at times. When you say fulfilment, I automatically f think do I feel fulfilled as a human being today? And I do. And that means much more to me than any kind of trophy, achievement, fast car, pretty girl, um, moment in front of a full stadium. That's so fickle, all of that. I got to a point of sick, I was sick of having a dad bod. Um, couldn't fit into my clothes anymore. And I wanted to be there for my friends and family and I wasn't for so long. And I've always been the character, well, person who wanted to share love and joy and I feel great it's just nice to be back at my junior club formerly known as Chelsea Haydook now known as Daniel on the City um, playing in front of the people who've I guess followed me and loved me all my life since I was a seven-year-old so it's really special when I first started playing I was in the backyard playing in front of the fruit trees with my brother kicking each other I never played it because of people watching. I played it because I loved the game. And then so fast forward and coming here to play, it actually means more to me to achieve success with this club now than necessarily any other success I've had. This club wants to get promoted to MPL one and the people watching genuinely care about me. I finally opened myself up to the idea of coaching. I, through the PFA, working with John Didelitzer and Simon Colosimo, they're very encouraging of us fall in place, staying connected to the game. So I'm entertaining that. I'm planning to do my badges this year. I'm still playing, so that's going to happen for a few years yet. Dream come true more than anything else was playing for Haydook Split and getting to captain them. And playing in front of a full stadium at the Poilud, that's the be all and end all for me more than anything else. Namaste.